Hello and welcome to the Game Breakdown, I'm Alex Ford and today I'm going to be showing you my first impressions of a game called Bullet Run. It's a free to play first person shooter and it has just come out on Steam. However, this is one of the very few properly pay to win games I have ever played. First of all, however, let me explain how the game actually works. You have... let's see... you have two game modes. You have Deathmatch, you have Team Deathmatch, and Dominion, which is basically a domination mode, capture, defend, area sort of game. Regardless of what mode you play, you will kill people and complete objectives, and you will earn a sort of currency called Heat, which builds up your fans and battle points when it is calculated at the end of a match. Fans are people who are supposedly fans of your fight on TV. The whole game is based around the fact that this is supposedly sort of a blood sport with the uh, commentators sort of laughing at the the deaths and that sort of thing. But uh, they may as well be the fans may as well be a meaningless number, such as experience points, because that's pretty much what they are. It levels you up, and when you level up, you get access to better clothes, which gets you more heat and better weapons. Well, I, I when I say access, I really do mean access because battle points is what you spend to buy these upgrades. Access does not mean that you get them. When you first create an account, you get ten thousand battle points to spend on stuff, but the cheapest new gun cost ten thousand one hundred. That's okay because in most matches you only earn between two hundred and five hundred battle points anyway that's fine too because you can just grind a bit and eventually you will afford new stuff however your weapons go through sort of wear and tear and I, although I'm not overly sure at what causes this um, it's probably dying you will need to spend battle points to repair a completely worn out weapon if you try using a weapon where its usability has reached zero then it does only the half amount of damage that it would usually do I played for long enough that I completely worn down my first weapon, which is the MP5, it's the default weapon, everyone gets it. And at that time I had earned about 3,000 battle points. It cost me 2,900 battle points to repair my gun. However, you don't have to repair your gun using battle, using battle points. No, you can also use gold, which you can buy using real money to repair it too. If you're a monthly subscriber, your weapons don't even need repairing, they'll never wear down as long as you're on the subscription. The whole leveling up game is meaningless because normally you'll have to level up to use weapons that have level requirements but as a subscriber you can buy and use anything. You also get discounts on everything you buy. All this wouldn't have been so terrible if the bought gun weren't so much better than the standard MP5. It's not even a class based game. Everyone just starts out with the uh, bog standard, not necessarily, it's really bad actually, MP5. It's not um, when all the newbies are just running around playing the game sort of like a generic FPS because that's pretty much all it is at first. The levels feel like they've been designed around the idea that everyone would be using the MP5. It is a absolute money sink. It's going to make you think that it's worth the investment by saying you can get all this free stuff if you uh, invest in us but it really isn't I predict that this game's gonna last minimum of one year before it gets closed down anyway that's a bit of a moan over I think I'll show you a bit of gameplay now because the gameplay is as the as an FPS game should be, the gameplay is the best part. Well, it's the least that I can moan about it. Now let's go into domination because this thing's actually got a a, a, a viable objective. The death match really is it, it can get dull and repetitive. Loading times, it doesn't seem to uh, enjoy loading times. There does seem to be a bit of lag on their servers, but teething problems are something that every game has. Oh, connection to the host has been lost. Oh, I'll just try again.
Yep, I was fully expecting that. When it says quick play, it does not mean quick play. Play match, quick play, quick play. No, I'm not going to go on server browser because I want it to pick the best possible match for me. So let's have another go. This game does not... Exactly, it, it will just... it Basically, it sifts through every game and just picks a random one. That's what it seems like. It doesn't seem like it picks one that's, that's got actual spaces in it. It just seems to pick just a random one, even full ones, even empty ones. It's irritating. Can I catch the server? Yep, yeah, I'm fully expecting that. I will guess I can always start recording when I get in game. See you in a bit. Okay, so here we go. I found, found, uh, found a game. It seems I'm, I'm on this oil rig map. I've been on it a couple of times, but never in domination. It seems like they can use each map for multiple purposes. So I've played in this game in um, Team Deathmatch. This is uh, the best Team Deathmatch game that I've actually managed to play. I can assure you that this shooting in this game is some of the most satisfying I have ever seen in any game, in any free to play game at least. When it comes to the shooting mechanic, it is unsurpassed in its satisfaction. Satisfactory level. So we're going to now in this game mode, I the idea is is that I assault this and I capture this, while the other team tries to defend it, of course, by literally blocking it by having people in the base. Those people speaking in the background are the commentators that I was talking about. They really do give a very sporty feel to the actual game. It's 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 pretty good actually. Definitely the best one of the best parts of this game. Ooh. Wow. My fifty. Well, yep, they're going to be the ones that are uh, overpowered. They're the ridiculous ones. Especially since they actually, he, that person just killed me in two shots. That was just ridiculous. My honest opinion, it's much more satisfying when the weapon is a bit wimpy. What the hell was he? When the weapon was a bit wimpy. Yeah, not a lot to say about that. Because it actually really makes you feel like you're wielding the weapon as opposed to just firing one shot and killing them. Let's try a different route this time. It's in the same place. Wow. Okay, right. Let's try doing well. If you oh, just that? joined us, going down. Okay. That Fine. was just brutal. Now, on that gun, she seems to have two modifications. She seems to have a silencer and a scope. So yeah, she's gonna be the one that's honing us all. I never saw that coming. Wow, that really was satisfying. What do you do when you hear the border show coming? It was some in. of the most satisfying gunplay I've actually ever had in a game like this. Another gripe I have about this game is the lengthy reload times. Um, this game really does seem to be a budget airline of a free-to-play game. It gives you the bog standard materials, it gives you the bog standard flight, but then anything else like a life jacket or onboard, on-flight entertainment or anything you have to pay for. Any modifications or quicker reload times, uh, a better melee better uh, scope, uh, anything like that you have to pay for. It seems to have completely shaved it. It seems that what I think has probably happened is 
the game designers have designed all these weapons and then what they've then done is then just peeled back what they think they don't need. Whoops. Leaving behind a sort of bog standard weapon. In fact, even this game's a little bit overpowered. A lot of powering really does seem to be off. Where'd you get sh that guy got me just gets me across the bat with a pistol. Okay, fine. The balancing is really off on this game. If you want a good proper free to play shooter, I really do recommend that you go for Blacklight Retribution. I love to see players with style. You have to look good too. Grenade. Say there. No, this hope against is that. what we came to see. Okay. There's absolutely no point going for the MP5. Not even to show you because Imagine your box down weapon. I mean, even COD does it better than this. I think even Black Ops should be uh it's a much more balanced game than this is. I mean, you get your bog standard weapons, but at least there's a, a downside to every weapon. I mean, it just seems that there's a couple of weapons in this game just a few seconds left. that are uh, just overpowered. It's horrible. The old gives you a great view of the rest of the Mechanically, this no game is okay. The, th the shooting mechanics are fine. I mean, it's satisfying and all that stuff, but I really wouldn't, you know, I, I really wouldn't bother with this game. There are far better games like Tribes Ascend or Flatlight Retribution. Commentators, however, they really do brighten up. The, the whole atmosphere of the game is very good. I'm going to After give them that. The time break and the teams are reversed. It really does make you feel like it's almost like a sports game, like a it's it's a it's a blood sport. It's a, like a rage with a I can't remember the name, but it's um like that blood sport or um or in Borderlands. It's sort of got the uh, the same idea of life as Borderlands does. It's quite good. Plenty of ways to give someone a yeah, surprise. Take down again. Okay. That was a little overpowered. I don't know who will be able to get a headshot from that range. But apparently, I just did. Polaris only need two more points to win the game. Now, because this I'm technically defending, stuff. I guess I can camp here. Not too many people running at me. No oh, if only if I wasn't reloading then. I mean, in any other game, I would have reloaded by then, but of course, I got to pay for that. I also find the melee frustrating. Like, you actually have to switch to the melee weapon. And you also have to press the number, the number key for it. Like, you can't switch using the wheel, using the mouse wheel. Yeah, he's gonna be getting a heat What's bonus a for that talk. To do to win this? They have to keep pushing. Never stop attacking. Because there's an invulnerability sort of shield going around me there. At least that's what I assume it to be. see that coming. I mean, I on any normal player, you, you, you saw how easy it was to kill them with this gun. I shot her for the same amount. Nope. Barely killed her. Barely a scratch. This game is paid to win through and through. I have no idea if it's going to blow up. And I guess it did. It's so hard to stay on your feet in the objective zones. I'll bet it is. You're making yourself a huge target. As I said before, this whole map just seems designed around close quarters combat. 
I'm guessing the shotguns are going to be overpowered. And, uh... I'm also guessing that... The MP5s here are going to be... King. Okay. Right, we should probably actually get on defend on the uh on defending. There we go. That's sort of a sentry turret you can put down. I if you look at the bottom of the screen you will see there are sort of four circles. I've got kind of a well, like two or more surrounds. Which is literally a mortar strike. Then I've got uh, a sentry turret. Oh, that goes back. I've got a sentry turret, which is uh, like the one that I killed just then. Uh, I, what else have I got? I have got sort of a Kimbo pistols and sort of a heal gun. All of them you get more heat points if you use them in a round. Now let's see if we can use the. Oh. Anyway. It's all over. This game is very much based around the style, you get a lot more points for doing that, and I, I gotta give them credit, because uh, I, I like I quite like a game based around getting headshots and, um, you know, doing quite stylish kills. It's quite good that it's uh, not rewarding, just bog standard fighting. It's quite nice. It, it, it's quite nice it's actually trying to get away from that uh, bog standard formula, but I don't think it's actually managed to get away from it. I think it's just... It hasn't managed in being original at all. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to continue playing this. You go, you lot know what I think. If you want to play an actual good game, do not play this game. Play Blacklight Retribution or Tribes Ascend. They are good, non-pay-to-win games. And that don't involve... You know, having to pay to get any sort of good weapons for you to get anywhere. You can unlock every weapon in, the, in those games without paying well worth it. With all these anyway, you've been watching areas, the game breakdown. It means the I will get see you next much. time. Drop it.